let's solve uh, a problem involving occurrence uh, of events on the time axis according to a Poisson process. Uh, let's take a minute to read the problem and then we'll solve it. So the key point to note here is that word uh, constant failure rate. So uh, that we're going to see very soon uh, uh, actually indicates that uh, the uh, process occurs according to a uh, person process with a constant rate. That constant rate is lambda. So uh, and the uh, time to failure is distributed according to an exponential random variable. So uh, the probability that uh, more than two spare bulbs will be needed. So we are looking at sums of independent uh, exponentials, uh, the gamma or Erlang distribution which we are going to solve using the uh, Poisson PMF, all of which we derived in the previous slide. So. Uh, the constant failure rate implies, as I said, the exponential time to failure, which implies that the reliability function is 1 minus the CDF of the exponential random variable, which is simply exponential of minus lambda t. So uh, the, the reliability, uh, since it's given, it's 0 0.95 uh, at one month, we can uh, deduce the lambda from there which turns out to be about 0 0.05 per month. Now uh, the next thing that we need is uh, the event that more than two spare bulbs will be needed uh, in a period of 12 months. So uh, that means there will be uh, more than two failures in those 12 months which basically means is that number of occurrences uh, in those 12 months, the number of Poisson occurrences in those 12 months will be more than two. So we can uh, find the probability of that event. So P of n in 12 will be greater than two is the same as one minus the probability that there will be zero or one or two events in that interval of 12 months. And now we recall uh, the property that n is a Poisson random variable because the underlying process is a Poisson process with rate lambda and we are now in a position to put in uh, the PMF formula for the Poisson random variable and we find the answer as uh, about 2.5 percent.